Hey guys and welcome back to Civ 5 as Afghanistan. We are back where we left off. I didn't actually take a break as usual in between the videos. Where I'd skip a few turns because we were actually doing something. So, can I move you out of the way for a minute? Okay, stick, stay there. That may have been an average idea, I don't know. But, we're in a war with Assyria so I didn't want to miss anything for you guys. Once this war is nice and done and we have these two cities under our control. And maybe the one in the north if I'm going to be bothered to go after it. We will probably... Oh, Rome. What? How did England get over here? Wait, is this England borders? Oh. Maybe this isn't Austria then. Maybe this is England. I don't know. It could be, yeah. Well, mm. Yeah, it's dark. Austria's like... Okay, so England also controls whatever this city was, I think. Not Austria as we thought. Oh, that's cool. England now border Egypt. <laughs> Unusual. Anyway, did any units get... Oh, damn it. And our, that artillery was destroyed. That was really badly placed by me. My bad. So, um... Guys, could you let me know in the comments, honestly, what you prefer, seeing me play these games, or the AI-only battle I did, because from looking at the stats, stat things about the videos and stuff, that, not only did the AI-only battle obviously get viewed a lot more, which isn't something I'm taking into consideration here, because that would be sort of just doing it for views. But the thing is, it also got a lot longer, like, time watched. So, like, the pe when you watch those videos, they were watched for, oh, no. Assyria may be able to take Mecca. Let's send our battle. Uh, these guys aren't going to make it round for a long time. Keep these guys in the Persian Gulf, then. Oh, Persian, red? Yeah, Persian Gulf. We don't have any units over here, damn it. Uh, pikemen, get over here. Great rifle, great war rifle, great war infantry, finally got it out. Eight turns, get over here. Um, step one, let's see how low we can bring the city down. Two, once we've got this northern city, the rest of the invasion should be pretty easy. Oh, damn it, they, w they took the worst possible route. Damn it, okay. Great war bomber. Start bombing Babylon. Bring that health down. Once they get the upgrade against cities, they begin to become a bit more effective. Which is at least half decent. And grab the third one. Yep, and again, 33% against cities. Boom, there we go. Start to bring down Babylon nicely. But yeah, let me know, guys. Like I just said, in the comments, what you prefer. Because I really kind of need to know. So I know what to do after this, because I've been thinking about it and whether I should go on to the Earth 2014 that I was planning to do. But if you want to, if you do honestly prefer me pl doing AI only battles, and you're going to prefer that, tell me, because I want to know. It's not going to annoy me that I don't get to do it. Oh, choose host. Who's going to win? Me. Ooh. Okay, well, I apparently have five votes for whatever reason. So I'll... I'll vote for myself. <laughs> okay, so we started to bomb Babylon, which means it should be an easier city to. Oh no, we put this city in this unit infantry in range. Hopefully, this unit won't get destroyed. Uh, it might do. Hopefully not, so we can then zoom zoom in. What am I saying? <laughs> Move in, take the city out. Now after this episode guys, I'm probably going to just build up an army and send it up here. Probably attack Russia. Don't know what's going on in the world really. Greece may finally get taken out here. Ideology, what have you gone for? Oh. Freedom, yeah, Siam, join us. Yeah, we're now freedom now if you didn't know. Oh, someone's attacking China. Okay, so China has planes now, so they're not too far behind. Um... Oh. Indonesia average Egypt settling another city down here that's not good I feel like Ethiopia is sort of stopping Egypt from going too expansive well they control so much in Africa that we're not we're not accounting for really I think you see what I mean by time as in it's in the we've done one turn and we're five minutes into this video Oh. Why is there a worker there? <laughs> anyway, 
Um, you attack them. Uh, they're very low on health. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yes, we did it. Okay. Unhappiness will raise by fourteen. No problemo. There we go. That splits Assyria in half. We do have to defend though, which may be difficult. Bam. All right, you didn't remove them. Dang it. Now we can move our units forward though. So you know, positives I guess. Oh, our Great War Bomber is almost dead. That one. What? How are they so low on health? Okay, heal. We lost the Great War Bomber. We need to heal. Bam. Boom. The Assyrians. Pretty outdated navy is gone. Which is a positive. And the first one in quite a while. So let's move these units in here. Battleship can st still not take anything out. Damn it. Come on, move over here. Fall into the trap. Okay, what unit is noise? No. Ah, damn it. What is it doing? Boom, there we go. Weaken the cannon. Ashurbanipal lost his capital to us. Awesome. This was a really good city. Did we take any oil? I do not think so. But now we've got some nice borders with the Ottomans. So, you know, always look on the bright side. And our happiness only dropped to 40, so I think we must have picked up some resources there that we didn't have before. Let's hit next turn. Oh, where are you going? Oh, okay, yeah, we're going over here. Next turn, but like I said, hitting next turn, we're waiting a good few minutes for stuff to actually happen, which is why this series is getting a bit problematic. But I don't mind, it's a fun series, we've done pretty well. Not bothered about winning the campaign, really. We've got our two prized battleships. It might be worth with the privateer, wherever it is, just attacking Babylon, get them out of the way. As a side war and upgrade all our navy while we're doing it. It's like city defense 28 here and 30 here. It'd be pretty easy just to do it with our battleships. It's been pretty fun though, playing as a mod, I think. That's definitely made this campaign interesting. It's not your regular Civ. So, okay, Ottomans have got fairly large army, mainly Janissaries and a few riflemen. And those Janissaries should be a bit behind tech-wise, which will give us a small advantage. Egypt looking fairly strong here. But yeah, those Janissaries, if they were to declare war on us, which they could, would be pretty weak against stuff like our Great War Infantry. So we should be fine, we should be fine. Your work, everything is being attacked by everything. Dang it. Okay, you come to there. Submarine. Just keep, just keep going round. There's nothing left for the submarine to really do now. Unless they pump out any more units. Worker, go back this way. Why are you even going over there? I think I must have sent over there back some promoter unit. Uh, this infantry unit is going to heal instantly. And wipe out their... Or not wipe out their riflemen. Heal up. Wait, are you out of range of the city? Yes. Can you hit Babylon from here? No. So we're going to get ready now for sort of the final push. So we're going to need to move our artillery round. Sort of get into position to do, to do, to deliver the sort of final blow, which will be to take out, um, what are they called? Here we go, Nebuchadnezzar. Sorry, buddy. Wow. <laughs> Battleships, OP. Boom. This frigate, boom, boom, boom. Oh, we didn't take that one out. Dang it! Okay, this frigate will come in, finish up the job. Privateer, is that you? Yes. Okay, you need to come around. You may actually get destroyed there. That was a really bad place to put you. Um, let's destroy the embarked unit because then it's gone. Out of the way. Some more sieves adopting ideologies. Didn't mean to click there. Next turn. Oh, and now pipemen have arrived to help defend this city a little bit. I'm not sure what Assyria are doing. Like these four unit, five units alone would have helped in the defence of the cities they had, their capital. 
which is now gone. It's ours now. Splitting them in half is probably the best move. Get them giving us this city really helped. But now we're ready to really finish them off, I guess. And you know, show Egypt we're still a big sieve. We now control. I know Egypt controls five capitals. We now control one in Assyria's capital, Arabia's capital, two, Persia's three, four in our own. We don't control the Huns' capital. Five with India's capital, though. So we are still in competition with them. And we are about to grab Babylon, which will make it six. So that's all awesome. Awesome, awesome. And taking out what is left of Babylon as well will help. Damn it. Okay, my privateer's gone. How do I... What do I do now? I buy land ships, I think. Maybe buying land ships to sort of send up here towards a CAD. We can pretty much just demolish its health. We just need a melee unit. Damn it. That's not good. Um, riflemen, get rid of them. Pikemen, upgrade to lancers. Uh, just attack them. Submarine, you're pretty poorly placed now. In terms of it all. Boom, there we go. Free workers for us. Okay, this guy's going to start heading towards Babylon. If we just make sure to take out their caravel here. Oh. Boom. And this battleship. Just keep their city on zero health. It's always good. Uh, can you build me... I want to say a carrier, because it doesn't require oil, and it is going to allow us to use more, effectively use, our air force. A workshop, because you have terrible production. Great War Infantry, stay there. Artillery. Can hit Babel. No, it cannot. Oh, damn it. I don't want to move it in range of... Can you? How long would it take you to get there? Three turns. You can't hit Babylon either. Oh, this is really bad. Dang it. Okay, that's not good. That is really, really, really not good. So you're going to have to come forward, which does mean you will get a good bombarded. And this one's still got to come forward. Which means we need our air force to heal up pretty quickly. Although it's a very small air force. To say the least, you come down here to attack them. Workers go there. I think that's where they were trying to go actually. They got stuck. Oh yeah, look, they're building a railroad from Delhi to this city up here, which is pretty isolated. Although I think they're gonna build one through here or somewhere through here soon as well. Combustion two turns, we're gonna get land ships and destroyers, which will be super awesome for us. At least Kabul is about to be at 27 population, 25 in Kandahar. Anywhere else set to have some growth? Uh, not in the next turn or so. Jalalabad, two turns. A sort of central southern India city. Oh. You can have that Assyria. I know I wanted to take out Babylon, but. That probably worked out better. Now, where on earth is Halab? I should probably know where it is. Where is this Assyrian city? Is it like in Africa somewhere? Okay, it is right here. Damn. Okay, that was not a good move. Ethiopia is probably going to want this. As long as I oh, know they're coming to work our nature reserve, we're going to have to fix this right now. That's really, really bad. You cannot... Park Rangers, what are you doing? I'm not exactly sure what the Park Rangers are doing. But, upgrade now. Oh, there is a unit of thingies there now. Dang it. Okay, oh yeah, we do need to focus in now on this war. That's one thing I do know. Boom. Okay, you guys. Artillery. Heal. Automated heal. 
of that. I'm gonna pull that one. I'm gonna try to pull as many. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade that onto a battleship. Try keep my boats out of the two tile range of the city for now. Just sort of alternate even which one's there. Let's keep it nice and low. Attack their archaeologists will be nice. Let's grab a new social policy. Um, happiness six units. Boom, that one looks good. Build more army units quicker. That's what we want. There we go, we've got this new city in the north. Build a courthouse here in Halab. Military base in our capital. And a a hospital. No, a hospital, so at the yep, a hospital in the former Persian capital. And you destroy oh, okay, don't destroy it, that archaeologist. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, so Syria's pretty weak now. They're down to just Babylon. Which for them is bad. They've made a big error. God damn it, stupid stopwatch on this new phone. There we go. That's the one thing I don't like about it. Like everything else is amazing, but just that is pretty bad. But we've grown a lot. Anything else cool going on across Europe, the rest of the world? Anyone in America yet? <laughs> Why don't I even ask? It is still empty. Oh no, it's not. Oh my god. Yay, Polynesia are in America. At least one city, sort of in California. Don't have any in South America. Maybe Polynesia will be the first to sort of start settling here. That'd be awesome to see. In fact, started settling properly. That'd be super cool. Um, we can start using these great war bombers soon to help attack Babylon as well. That'd be nice. I'm going to buy a privateer just so we can quickly take this city when we need to. But yeah, we've done really well this campaign. I've enjoyed it. It's been fun. Probably got a God damn it. We've probably got a couple more videos to go. Probably one or two. Or three even. If you include the fact we're going to be... They really damaged our battleship. Okay, frigate. Go for an upgrade. Bam. Bam. Oh wait, that battleship wasn't damaged. It was like that the whole time, wasn't it? Okay, great war infantry finally sneaking in. I'm going to send a few of the frigates round. To start attacking this city here. Ah, oh, dang, can't hit it from there. Uh, you could just heal. Great War Bomber. Nothing's in range, so can you rebase to there? Other one, are you done healing? Yes, you are. Okay, so you can come down here as well. And that should make it pretty easy to... I don't think it actually went then. Oh, well. New research. Ballist, let's go for ballistics. Let's try get those nuclear missiles as quickly as possible. I mean, I'm happy to just use atomic bombs for this campaign if we can. I mean, I'm not sure how quickly. How long it's going to take for us to get them. I mean, we've still got to get all the way here. It's probably a long time. We may make it that far. Who knows? Oh no, they're working the nature. Okay, it's no longer the, the they failed. I forgot. The nature reserve is no longer a nature reserve. There's still a barbarian encampment down here. Oh my! Egypt has a lot of units there. Oh, Syria do have another city right here. And there's still a barbarian encampment inside this Ethiopian city. It's a bit harsh to say Ethiopians are barbarians. I'm sure they're not. Sure, they're definitely not. I mean, maybe just these ones here. <laughs> Can't, I, I, I don't even know how that works. Surely, once you go into the encampment, you'll know it goes away. But anyway, hopefully, like England or someone attacks France, really uh, Egypt, really well, then they move all these units away. It's kind of scary. I think they are maybe preparing to attack Madagascar. We do not want any more Polynesian cities. No, okay, they're just going for one. 
by the look of it. That was so surprising to actually see they had one. Durr. That's what this city's now called. Durr. Oh, dang it. Move in. Battleships come round. Can you hit... Yes, you can hit the city from there. You come to there. Oh, you've got, got no moves left. This frigate's going to come up to there. Great admirals are going to go to join these guys, give them a bit of support. And this battleship is just going to deliver the final blow there. Boom. So next turn we should take that. Where is my air force? Okay, so only one plane did go. But there we go. And this one needs to be rebased there. There we go. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you have enjoyed, as always, it would be awesome if you could drop me a like and subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you next time.